Hi ladies, it's Lisa. I was diagnosed with triple negative breast cancer in February of 2015. First I had a lumpectomy of the right breast, lymph nodes removed, and a portacath put in. Two weeks later I started my first round, actually four weeks later I started my first round of Cytoxin and Taxol. The day before, day of and day after, they gave me steroids to help with nausea, vomiting, and uh, any reactions that may occur from the chemo, which I did not have any of the nausea, vomiting, or, chemo, or reaction of the chemo. So the night before my first treatment, I only slept one hour. So just so you know, if you're scared or stressed out or, you know, just wondering all night what's going to happen, it's okay. So I get there and they do some blood work to make sure that um, my white count's okay to start taking it. Everything was fine. They started my port. That's how I got my chemo was through the, the port access and everything was fine. My first day, everything went fine. I had no problems, went home, came back the next day, got my Neupogen shot, which is a white booster, white cell booster shot. And, um, Without knowing it, I was having an anaphylactic reaction because these steroids made me flush so much and my cheeks were so hot that I couldn't feel it. So uh, I actually checked the temperature in my cheeks. One was like 101, one was 102. So the nurse caught it right away and sent and um, at, got the other nurses together and put me on oxygen. And I got Benadryl and some more um, steroids and everything was fine. So don't freak out if it happens. Uh, the nurses are trained, the doctors there in the office if that's where you're getting your treatments. And I was fine afterwards. So the next day I went back, got a different shot uh, I got the Luna, the Leukine. Everything was fine. The next day I went back, which I was doing a, um, oh, what's it called? A trial, a drug trial with, uh, Notre Dame. And they took like eight tubes of blood and I felt like I had the flu that day. Like it hit all at once. And, um, she gave me the shot of the Leukine and I passed out. I threw up in the office and um, when I woke up, the doctor was sitting beside me. They had accessed my port and called an ambulance. So I went to the ER that day and the only complaint I had was a headache. So I don't know if it was like a reaction to getting a shot because some people react that way or if it was a true reaction to the leukine, but I'm never allowed to have white booster shots ever again. So through all four treatments, I was um, neutropenic, which means that my immune system, which uh, was um, basically non-existent. So for like a whole week, I had to wear a mask and um, not eat anything that I, no fruits or vegetables that I couldn't peel, no lunch meats, um, you know, no clipping the fingernails, toenails, shaving any part of my body because um, you know if you break the skin you're you're open for infection and I my body wasn't able to fight it off so I'm not gonna say that it was a piece of cake but it wasn't horrible um, and the other reactions I had to chemo like the first week was just basically feeling like I had the flu and from the booster shots my bones hurt and um, it was it was very painful and I only took Motrin and Tylenol which if you're going to take Tylenol, take your temperature first to make sure that um, you don't have a fever. If you take the Tylenol, it's going to mask your fever and whatever your body's trying to fight off. So um, chemo was um, very difficult for me. Um, but that was basically the first week. Um, I'll go into more tomorrow. So um, if you're new to breast cancer and new to chemo, um, just... Just know that there's medicine out there to treat almost every ache and pain that you have. And you just got to be tough and, and um, get through it. So I'll talk with you tomorrow. Bye.